Hi pretties, welcome back to a new video. I actually recorded this introduction already, but I looked really messy in that intro. So I was like, nah girl, you have to do this again. So here I am. This is going to be a tiny little intro to that intro because I just didn't want to start off the video looking that crazy. This video is going to be pretty much a warning to the rice water treatment trend that's going around. It has wonderful benefits, but it can also go really, really wrong like it did for me. So keep on watching and I'll explain. So I've been doing the rice water treatment for like a month, maybe a little over a month. I The way I've been doing it is I take the rice, one cup of rice, I wash it three times and then I leave it in a little bowl. I add two, after washing it, I add two cups of water and cover it and leave it in a bowl for like 24 hours or maybe two days so that I can get the fermented um, rice water. The, it, let me tell you, it smells horrible. Horrible. But yeah, I was starting to see nice results. Like my my hairline has been thinning for a while, and I I've, I'm seeing improvements. Like the hairs are coming in. My baby hair is my baby hairs are way thicker. And so I'm like, okay, this is working. I was getting excited. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep on doing this. So the way I was doing it, I was washing my hair. Um adding rinse, detangling, and then adding the rice water, starting with my scalp, massaging it in, and then the rest of my hair. I wouldn't comb my hair once the rice water was in because once you put it in, your hair, well, at least my hair became, I don't even know how to describe it. I like guess stiff in a way, not easily manageable. I wouldn't, I would not try to detangle with rice water in my hair because it's just not, manageable there's no slip it becomes it gets a little hard whatever it's just meant as a treatment not as a conditioner or mask or whatever so i yeah i would leave it in my hair for like 30 minutes an hour or even the whole day and then i would rinse it out and add um my deep conditioner and go about my day my whatever styling and the rest well the last time that i did the rice water treatment I was washing my hair late, late at night and I got lazy. So what I did was I washed my hair, I added the rinse, det detangled my hair, added the rice water. Instead of rinsing out the rice water, I left it in my hair. A lot of people claim that you can use it as a leave-in and it'll be fine. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to leave it and as gonna, I'm going to use it as a leave-in and I'm going to go to bed and I'll rinse it out tomorrow. I didn't want to add any other products in my hair because I didn't want it to interfere with the rice water being soaked into my hair. So I go to sleep with the damn rice water in my hair, nothing else. Next day I wake up late, had to go to work, so what I did was take a little bit of Miss Jessie's Even Condish, add it to the top of my hair to, to flatten the, you know, the flyaway hairs and the frizz, whatever did that went to work came back was still too lazy to do my hair so at this point day two went to bed went to work whatever when i came back and i took on my hair i'm like oh my gosh what is this i had it in a low and low bun like this it's it's stiff it's dry well, it was then because I washed my hair since then. It was stiff. It was dry. Oh, my God. It's just horrible. It felt horrible. I had knots, crazy knots. So much hair came out when I was trying to detangle my hair. It's ridiculous. I feel like I pulled half of my hair out. It was just like it was just not responding to anything i washed the conditions not responding well to anything like i was it was just bad and then i styled my hair did my usual steps and my hair came out just horrible it's not even i can't even describe it as frizz it just looks dry and stiff and thin i have thin hair as it is which was a horrible idea for me to leave that in because thin hair is very delicate It'll break from anything. Just looking at it too hard, it'll break. 
So, yeah, my hair is just, it looks thinned out. After the, the travesty, this is my second wash. This is going to be my second wash. So, I bought some products in hopes of getting my hair back. But before I show you the products, let me show you my hair. I wish you could feel my hair right now because that's... I think that's the only way you would understand how just hard. Look at this. And stiff it is and dry like so dry it's so dry that the top like not even the top different areas are looking straightish like not my usual curls oh my gosh well anyways the products that I picked up to try and get my curls back was Olaplex I bought it at Sephora this is the number three. I know there's different numbers and stuff. This is number three. Okay, so Olaplex. The first few times that I've used it, it helps to find my hair. My hair is really soft. It's shiny, beautiful. But the thing is that my hair wasn't damaged before. So it's not like I was going to see a huge difference. Or like anything major. Because my hair was pretty healthy. Olaplex is a reparative treatment. It's not a conditioner or a deep conditioner. It just helps reconnect broken hair bonds. Um, so yeah, it pretty much brings your hair back from damage. And I'm hoping it does that with my hair. The bottle says to apply it from scalp to ends and to, until it's saturated. Apply on damp towel dried hair. The first few times that I tried Olaplex, I did it on. I just wet my hair. Wet my hair without washing it. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna wash my hair because I read somewhere, again, following something that I read. I just don't learn. I'm gonna wash my hair and I'm gonna apply it because I really wanted to take it, soak into my hair. And then I'm going to wash it again because after you use this, after the 10 minutes, you're supposed to wash your hair and deep condition and all that stuff, like how you would wash your hair regularly. So I'm going to wash my hair, leave this in my hair for 10 minutes. It says the longer that you keep it in your hair, the better it works. So I'm currently going to keep it for 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash my hair. And when I deep condition, what I'm going to use is Moroccan oil, which I have used before and I absolutely love. The only reason I don't keep up with these products on a regular is because they're pretty damn expensive. I forgot how much this one was. I think it was like 30 something. Yeah, 32-ish, 34. And this little bottle is 28 freaking dollars. This is this is probably gonna last me. Well, this usually lasts me two wash. That's it. Two. Maybe I can get three out of it, but I don't know. And then this one, yeah, this one will last a little longer. But sometimes I'm just not up to give up $34, $36. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. I um did this small section already. So far, good. My hair seems to be responding good. I'm trying to use finger to tangle. I use this brush. I forgot the name of it right now, but yeah, I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. And out of this big section, I'm just going to keep on taking smaller sections. Like... The hair is just so rubbery. If I'm too rough, it's just gonna break off my strands. Okay, 
Okay, pretties, at this point I am done with this side. And this side, so far so good. My hair seems to be responding well. But we'll see. This is how much hair I lost. Both sections included. So not bad at all. I wish I had recorded or taken a picture of how much hair I lost the last time I detangled. It was insane. This already feels great. Like I'm not struggling at all. Seeing this frizz right now, I'm getting a little worried, like, that's a lot of frizz. Okay, pretty, so at this point, I... The product is in. I honestly don't have such high hopes because... I don't think that product is great on my hair. Hi, pretty, so since the last time that... I washed my hair. My hair has been making some progress. The first time that I used Olaplex, my hair came out okay, decent, but it's still very dry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you my results. Um, so yeah, I decided to prolong the video and show you the second time that I used my hair with Olaplex after my rice water overload. And I just want to say, I'm going to continue the rice water because, like I said, my baby hairs were starting to make progress coming in. And I think it is a great treatment. It's just that I way overdid it. Alright, so here's the brush. Now the knot came out. Like, this was all I could get out of the brush. And there's not much left in there. So, so far so good. Okay, pretties, here are my final results. Not bad at all. There is some frizz and there is some dryness. I still have to work on bringing in more hydration, but my hair is making amazing progress. I think I'm gonna start deep conditioning twice a week instead of once. So far, I'm hopeful. It's, it's looking good. It looks like it looks like my hair is reverting back, which is definitely a good thing. And I just want to say there's some like oddness going on here in the shape of my hair. That is because before the whole rice water fiasco, I did trip my ends. I was trying to save a few bucks. <laughs> it's the holidays. I need my coins. I have to give give stuff. <laughs> um, and take advantage of the sales. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I did trim my hair myself and there's a little oddness in shape right now, but it's fine. It'll grow back and it'll resolve itself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I will see you in my next video. Bye!